Well, hello! It's Daniel G. Bennis. Saturday, September 20th, 2014, I am going to take my science show on the road again. This time, I'm heading down the highway of peace to Giddings, Texas, and I'm going to be a part of the second annual 2014 Weird West Fest. Now, what is the Weird West Fest? I'm glad I asked. It's an awesome event benefiting Blue Skies over Autism, and there's going to be, drum roll, live music, there's going to be movies played in a partially restored 1800s movie house. Nostalgia everywhere. There are shops that will be open. There's going to be event vendors. There's also going to be, um, oh, wow, uh, um, uh, horse-drawn buggies through the snow. <laughs> no, there's not. But there's going to be a lot of really fun stuff. There's going to be people selling food and drinks throughout the evening and maybe a little burlesque at the end. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Anyway, I'm going to be set up with all my cool antique stuff, including some Edison things, and I'm going to be dressed as Mr. Thomas Edison in the Historic Train Depot Museum. So be sure to stop by there and take a look. By the way, I'm going to be in the company of some very awesome people, including Burton Gilliam. He is the uh, an actor from Mel Brooks' movie Blazing Saddles. Also, Gary Clark. Now, Gary Clark <laughs> is going to be there, and he is the, uh, the former lead actor of the Virginian, which was a awesome Western show back in the day. Many of you remember it, but I'm too young. All right, the cool thing, um, last night I spent some time rebuilding one of the props that's gonna be there. Many of you have seen this before, many of you haven't, but you will never forget it once you've been in the presence of it, I promise you. Check this out. Turn this around and show you that you're looking at my feet. Okay, actually, this is the toroid of a 1920s Van de Graaff generator. There's the column. Here's the base with a rheostat down here. It's made by American Electrostatic Company Incorporated. It's really old. Anyway, this came from a Thomas Edison Museum in Chicago, and I ended up with it many years ago, and it's been shocking the crap out of people ever since. Now, it's going to shock all of the crap out of you completely. You will have no crap left in you when you touch the top of this ball even if you don't touch it because I have a long rod and I can reach out with it so <laughs> it's a narrow hallway going through the center of the museum by the way so I took the entire base apart removed the motor re uh, lubricated the bearings and the the shaft inside there that's what I said redid all the uh, little bronze fingers that bring the electrostatic charge up to the top cleaned off the rheostat took the belt out of the column and completely stripped it of any type of oils using a, an organic solvent known as acetone. And I polished the ball up a little bit more, changed the fingers on the top, took the roller out of the top, recoated it with liquid rubber from a material called Playa Bond, which made the house smell like cat piss. I carved on the Mona Lisa, sort of. I drilled a hole through the metal, all the way through the, to the, uh, the column, and reinforced it. And no longer does it move around when you touch it. So now the kids won't destroy it when they touch it. Well, actually, kids can destroy anything. Well, so can I. But anyway, hopefully it won't happen this time. Anyway, this thing is beefy. Now, normally when I have people play with this, they stand on an insulated platform like that right there. For this demonstration, I'm getting that out of here. And I'm standing on bare ground with my naked feet. I wouldn't uh, advise this to, 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 the, to the mere mortal because it's gonna hurt, but I kinda, I kinda like it. So here we go. I'm gonna turn this on, show you exactly how powerful that this thing has gotten. You should hear the shocking, zapping, crispy, crackling sounds any second now. And I'm gonna bring my arm closer, and you should be able to see my hair start to wiggle around and stand on end. Oh, and I'm getting closer, and here comes the voltage now. Oh, yep, it is a beefy one. It's also quite humid out here, so it's having difficulty. By the way, there's a little phenomenon. Ooh, one of the reasons why you can't see uh, all of the uh, the sparks, uh, ow, is because um, the shutter speed of my iPhone happens to be a certain rate. These sparks are actually faster than the speed of the shutter, so some of the sparks actually happen in in between the the uh, the shutter speed, and then some of them also happen um, uh, partially. It's ow, ow. Ow. 
Uh, now I'm gonna do something else pretty stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this platform up here, stand on it, pick up this pan right here, and I'm gonna hold this over the top and you'll be able to watch the big sparks happen. Here we go. Now keep in mind what I said about the shutter speed. You're not able to see all these sparks because some of them are faster than the shutter and they happen in between the shutter opening and closing. Even though it is an electronic shutter, it's still the same. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna get my, uh... oh, you know what? Screw the rod, spare the child. Let's see what happens when we get all Edison up in here. All right. Let's see if I can get my hair to stand on end. It is incredibly humid today. It rained all night last night. This is probably not gonna happen. Hopefully it'll be drier in Giddings. But trust me, I can feel it leaking through my toes. <laughs> That's gross. So come see me tomorrow, Saturday, September 20th, 2014 in Giddings, Texas at the second annual 2014 Weird West Fest. It's gonna be some awesome people there. Uh, come get signatures, come say hi to me. Come let me shock you. Shock you like a hurricane. <laughs> Come by and I'll shock your monkey. All right, I'll see you there. Shock you later. Ow. So come by and visit me at the 2014 second annual West We're Saturday, September 20th, 2014 at the West <sighs> So, take five. Saturday, September 12th, 2014, at the second annual 2000. <sighs> I don't trust Adams because they make up everything. Saturday, September 7th, something, something, something. <laughs> I don't care, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Cause I'm not wearing underwear. Saturday, September 20th, 2014. I will be down the road of peace in Giddings, Texas at the 2014 second annual Western Weird... <laughs> it's the Weird West Fest. Why can't I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. You know what, Jimmy? Actually, I do care, Jimmy. I'm your friend, and I do care if you crack that corn. Come on, Jimmy, crack that corn. Don't let that corn get the better of you. What, is that corn stronger than you, Jimmy? Is that corn stronger than you? Are you weak? Come on, Jimmy, you weak? Come on, crack that corn. Crack that corn, bitch, come on. You can crack that corn, Jimmy. What? Oh. <laughs> it's a stupid song. What happens if nobody cracks the corn? Is someone gonna get hurt? <laughs> no. Saturday, September 20th, 2014, I and my science show will be just down the road in Wimberley, Texas at the... Wimberley? <laughs> <laughs>